Post effects are a series of effects available in the Redshift render view. These allow you to color correct directly in the render view. There are two ways to access post effects. First, by applying a Redshift camera tag to your camera or clicking the gear image in the top right of the render view. Color management allows you to change the color space your image is displayed in. LUT gives you the option of applying a lookup table to your rendered image. LUT strength changes the strength of the effect, zero meaning no effect is applied, and one fully applied. Color controls allow you to manipulate the exposure and contrast of your images. You can also apply a curve effect. Photographic exposure is interesting. Here you can change the ISO, shutter speed, and f-stop of your camera. The more overexposure allowed, the more your image will begin to blow out in the highlights. You can bring this value all the way down to prevent any of your highlights from blowing out. Vignette is pretty self-explanatory. Black crush controls what happens in the darker parts of your images, allowing you to crush darker colors to provide more contrast. Saturation will saturate your image or desaturate your image. Bloom creates a light bloom effect on the highlights of your image. The lower your bloom threshold, the more light blooms appear. Bloom softness controls how soft or tight the bloom is in your image. Tint controls what colors appear in the bloom. The leftmost swatch is the smallest blooms, and the swatch all the way to the right is the largest bloom. The lower the flare threshold value, the more lens flares will appear in the image. Flare softness softens the flares. Flare chromatic adds a chromatic aberration effect to the lens flares. Flare intensity controls the strength of the effect. Streak is very similar to flare and bloom as it affects the highlights of your image. Streaks will appear at the highlights of your image depending on your streak threshold. You can control how long the streaks are and how many appear. If you'd like it to apply directly to your renders, check this box. Remember to enable or disable your post effects as you work. So that was a quick rundown on Redshift post effects. If you found that helpful, please throw me a like and I'll see you in the next video.